What's going on YouTube? I'm just going to do a little quick product review. Uh, I've got here the RC 4 wheel drive high lift jack. The real deal, fully functional, all metal high lift jack. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, I've got some varying degrees of realistic looking high lift jacks on my trucks. Um, from like the Proline one and one I think I got from China, I don't even know. They, they, some of them look alright, some of them don't. They, you know. But this is the ultimate. Now, uh, there's one issue with this that, that I have, uh, I'm not that upset about, but it's the only thing I can find wrong with it is it's big. You can see it here, the, the cruiser is bigger than, scale than the D90s and the, the Hilux trucks. And my Amigo in the background is that size also. And I think this is going to go great with the cruiser, but it might look kind of odd. It might work on the uh, on the D90s and stuff. I I, I think though it, it's perfectly suited for the cruiser body. And uh, we'll see. I've got uh, something new, very very new today. RC Four Wheel Drive came out with their K5 Blazer body, and uh, I've got one of those on the way. I had to break the bank to get it. I'm a Chevy guy. Despite all of these Toyotas and things I have, Land Rovers, I'm a Chevy guy, so I got one of those coming, and uh, I, I, I'm really anxious to see how big it is because it makes the Trailfinder 2 chassis and the pictures look tiny. So I'm hoping it, it's true to scale and it's massive in comparison to the other rigs. But uh, I'm have to wait and find out on that. But uh, I'm gonna open this up, show you how it works, and tell you some more about it. All right, get it out. It uh, trying to find the best way to get you a close-up shot of it here. The mechanism and everything is on the bottom. It actually has a a little clip around the handle that holds it to the main post, and uh, just like the real thing would. While it's on the vehicle, you want to strap your handle down. Um, like I said, it's all metal. The base and everything screws into the bottom. The top piece here, you can take off and you can angle and use it for different things, just like a real one. You can turn it around and clamp between things. You can, uh, I think it showed you put it another way and use it as like a pull pal. Kind of a mechanical winch. But uh, yeah, I'll show you real quick how this works. I'm going to leave it zoomed in on the bottom so you can see the mechanism work. Now you've got, it does absolutely nothing just up and down right now. So turn the lock around. This little lever right here, I'm sure you can still see that. You just lock it up into place. Oop, let me hold it still. Now, you hear it click. I'm not sure I have that locked up all the way. Then you want to move it up. You can knock that down and you can just slide it up to where you need to start. Like, say, our cruiser bumper here. Got it all set up now. I, uh, yeah, trying to do is with the camera and the light and everything, it's just a pain, but. Cruiser's almost too tall, it'll go much higher. <laughs> Probably would work better on the rear bumper, but you get the idea. It, uh, it actually functions, and I think that's pretty cool. This, this jack was like, I want to say, I picked it up on eBay for around 28 bucks, 27.99, something like that. And I mean, you just can't beat the scale. It's 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 so real. I mean, it's even got the warning labels on the handle. And uh, go ahead and let it down here. It's got uh, all your information on the back sticker, just like the real the real thing would have. It's that's a really cool thing. I I'm really happy with it. I think that's money well spent for my scale interest. And just turn this little handle back around and click it back on. Now it's ready to mount back down to your truck. And it's got the actual holes in it, just like the real one, that it clicks in when it moves up. And you can use small scale screws and mount that directly to your body. You can make your own custom brackets. It, there's, it's very versatile. And uh, I, not that it means anything, but I recommend it if you're into the scale stuff. Because that, that kind of stuff just really gets gets me going, it gets me into 
the realistic aspect of these trucks more when something's actually functional and realistic looking, not just a plastic piece for looks that you strap down to your roof, you know. So, not sure what that's going to go on yet. I, I need to do a, let me pull that D90 over here and we'll see how it looks up next to it. Because it looks, I think it looks right next to the cruiser. It's, it's really good size. Uh, we'll do some comparisons here real quick. Okay, so for me, um, I had not Jeep before. The only place I, I really know, I mean, you people put them on their roof racks or on their, their tailgate guards, but you see a lot of them on the windshield. So I, I've seen the most, especially around here, high lift jacks mounted on the windshield of Jeeps. So as for size, that's, that's kind of going to be my reference. And this looks similar in how it fits with uh, the way the real ones did on a, on a new Jeep JK Wrangler. So I think that's pretty good size on for this truck and the way it, it fits up with the bumper and everything. So I'm going to pull the D90 over now and, and we'll do the same comparison. I went ahead and grabbed the D110. So it was sitting over there lonely. Haven't messed with it in a while. Um, it's, a, it's a little big on here, I think. Uh, I don't know. I think it would work well on this truck as well if you actually were to use it. Um, I do have one on the back here. Let me turn this thing around show you this was one of my more realistic looking ones that I had if I can get it to focus here we got mounted to the uh, tailgate swing out tire gate here and uh yeah it's it's very realistic looking but it's still a lot smaller size than this one not as length but as far as the bulk of it because this is a little bit bigger that's why I think it looks better with the cruiser just it looks like a a shorter high lift jack than this one even though they're the same length but this one scale wise it looks shorter because the mechanism is larger because it fully functioned so um yeah but yeah this would look good back there as well but i hate to hide it like that i think it's it's pretty nice i'm gonna have to find somewhere nice and realistic to mount it and uh yep yeah that's all i just wanted to show y'all that little guy another uh Awesome thing that RC4 Drives put out for us scale, scale crawler guys. But uh, anyways, thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you around.